what's going on YouTube so the is number function is a function in Excel that returns a boolean value and checks to see if another cell is a number or if it's not so if the cell that it's referencing to is a number it's going to return true if it's not a number it's going to return false so for example equals is a number there's only one argument which is a value and as you can see, it sees this as a number, and it returns true. So I know you're probably thinking, right, why is this of use? Well, the is number function is great if you're trying to troubleshoot something. So this is especially useful, for example, with dates. So as an aside, the is number function should return a date as a number, as Excel recognizes dates as a number, with the first date being January 1st of 1900, and it's just adding dates from there. Um, so as you can see, that's today. And that's the number of dates it's been since January 1st of 1900. So, that being said, equals is number. It sees the first date to be true. However, if you go down here to count, input the count function to count the number of numeric cells, it only returns four. Right? And if I try to select, try to subtract two different dates, Right, so I mean, isn't that kind of odd? Um, and another important thing to keep in mind is that, is that this is so to go through and see which cells are numbers or not. We have the is number function right here. You copy and paste it down. As you can see, these cells are not numbers. So going into here, we might we're going to try to look and see why. So first thing, look at the formatting. And as you can see, these are texts. These are dates. So we're going to change it to short date. Said, and as you can see, the formula again, and it is still not working despite being a date. So, a workaround to this is to select a blank range of cells, paste and paste it over the cells that you're looking to change numbers. So, right click, go to paste special, paste special, and add. And it basically just treats it as if you're adding a bunch of zeros to the cells. And as you can see, these change to numbers. I'm going to change this to short date. Alt H A C. As you can see, the is number function is now returning true. So, I really hope that this was helpful. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and, and have a great day. Um, also, just as one last note, um, please note that this might seem kind of relevant for this example, but sometimes you get pivot tables where you're getting data imported into Excel, and it's formatted kind of weird, so you have to work around that. Um, so I hope this was of use. Have a great day.